one of the reasons that I feel so passionate about this work and these instructional videos is that um, I really wish that I had had these tools in my career and my earlier life. And, you know, emotional intelligence is a relatively new concept among the data and science driven world of what is key to thriving and surviving and success. And 75% or more of success in life is being able to know what you're feeling, what you want, how to express it, what to name it, how to regulate it, and how to interact with others around what we're feeling, wanting, needing, and who to be in that moment. And I spent so, I think I suffered a lot in my career and my adult development without having that sort of permission to feel. I knew, I think I was more advanced in my ability to label and understand my feelings, but it was certainly not acceptable in the culture where I was working. And there was this persona or veneer that everyone was wearing of decorum of this is how you behave in this environment. And then you have this other stuff going on inside your head, right? And the conflict, the emotional labor that comes up between how you're supposed to be and how you really are in everyday moments in life can just be overwhelming. The amount of energy it takes to, to regulate that. And I think when things are less stressful, when you, you have everything in your personal life is going well and everything at work is going well, there's no dissonance, right? There's no problem. But when either or, or certainly when both are elevated and escalated, it just becomes overwhelming. And I don't know how other people deal with that, but I struggled with that. And I had to learn a lot of tools to cope with that. And I don't know what everyone else is doing to cope with that, but I want to be able to provide tools to be able to make things easier because and I got away from um, those struggles, I realized, wow, I've learned a lot and I want to impart these tools to others so to make it easier. And so that's the purpose of these videos is that I want to help you because I would have liked to have had the same kind of instruction when I was going through earlier struggles with child rearing, balancing work and home and interpersonal relationships. And it's not easy, but you're not alone. We all struggle with these and people who aren't talking about them are actually doing themselves a great disservice. And the more that we can make these concepts familiar and integrated into our world, this is not a socioeconomic discrepancy. This is a universal human experience of what we feel and what comes up for us. And it's not just mad, sad, glad. It's so much more complex and yet universally important and not hard to understand. We just have to get the vocabulary and the permission to feel and express what we're feeling. And I just have this huge faith that that will heal all the problems. If people would just say what they really mean and mean what they say, who knows the potential? I can't wait to find out.